Hi everyone, this is Janet Simmons and welcome to video 3.3 of AEDT 4110 Assessment for Adult Learning. This video introduces you to the first PBL scenario. This is Miss Educator. She is new to facilitating adult learners. Now listen very carefully to the story she's about to tell you and identify possible problems with the scenario. Hello. I am so excited and nervous to start teaching at the College of Excellence. I've never taught before, but I have 15 years of experience in my discipline, and I am considered an expert in my field. Many colleagues in my organization frequently come to me for help and advice, and several have suggested I give teaching a try. So, because I am nervous, I spent all summer preparing for my fall course. It is an 18-hour course and it spans over five weeks. I really want my students to enjoy my talks. I started my planning by making a list of topics that I would speak to. Then I started planning my talks. The talks are what will make my students absorb everything I know. Once I had all my lectures ready, I was told that the College of Excellence required all exams and tests to be administered using online methods. This allowed the college to save money because teaching assistants for grading were not needed. I decided then to give my students one test for each of the five weeks. If each test is worth 20%, then this would be a fair way to assess. Besides, I am so busy with my day job that I didn't want to spend much time marking, so this computerized testing is perfect for me. Again, the important part of the job is the teaching part, right? I just can't wait to transfer all my knowledge to my students. So to meet the college test requirements, I created multiple choice, true-false, and matching questions. What an easy and quick way to mark. Each weekly test is going to be based on my written lectures to see if my students were listening and remembered everything I said. I am a great speaker, so I am not even going to use PowerPoint. I get so tired of PowerPoint presentations. I am sure my students are too. I created all five tests based on my completed lectures. The first week was light because it was an introductory week. The test is quite short and consists of only five questions. It will be an easy 20% for my students. It will be my gift to them. And it will make them like me. The last two tests are going to be quite lengthy and may surpass 50 questions each, because of all the content I squeezed into those lectures. At least the final two tests will make up for the easy first test. This seems fair. And I pride myself in being fair. Wish me luck. I am so excited. As in real life, problems do not always present themselves in neat and tidy boxes. First, identify and brainstorm possible problems. In your group, engage in a PBL process where you will need to actively seek out the knowledge and resources that will be necessary to fully understand the problem. Read through the assignment sheet posted in this week's module. It has prompts to help you get started with the PBL and provides further information about the assignments. There are many ways to look at Ms. Educator's scenario. Keep in mind the assessment, learning outcomes, and instructional activities triangle presented in the previous video. This will help your group with seeing the multiple perspectives of a problem your group identifies. Good luck with the first scenario and have fun with the assignment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the tutorial. 